this is the the SIM data set um, that we have. Um, we have equal weights in across all the five measures, and you know this is the uh, these are the ratios that you get from um, using um, this particular set of weights. Um, in the previous video, uh, I talked about we should uh, sort of restrict or uh, constrain all the ratios to be uh, between zero and one, uh, because if you don't do that, uh, you can use any set of weights. You can always um, try to increase or decrease the ratio by using a different set of weights. So in a sense, you can get um, a ratio that that is uh, anywhere from zero all the way to infinity. Um, this is not helpful. Um, now, what we're going to do is actually uh, going to look at uh, a particular laptop. In this case, let's say uh, we pick AC V5-171. Uh, okay. um, under this set of weights, one uh, across all the measures, um, the ratio is about 74%. Um, so the question is that can AC uh, pick up another set of weights um, that you can increase the, uh, the ratio to uh, uh, a larger uh, number. Um, obviously, um, you can always set a, uh, you know, let's, let's say do 100, you know, on the um, uh, category two uh, variables, and you definitely going to increase that because this is how the ratio. The, remember, the ratio is defined as the um, the width of the category two divided by the width of category, category one. Um, that 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 is it is actually the reason why you want to constrain the ratio to be less than one. Otherwise, you know you can use any set of um, weights to to increase the, uh, the ratio. So now again, the 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 question now becomes: under the condition that all the ratios has has to be within zero and one, can ACL V five one seventy one pick a set of weights to increase this particular um, ratio. Right? Um, so we will have to use uh, a mathematical model actually to help us to decide the width because it, as um, you can see there are infinite number of um, weights that you can use um, to get the ratio. Really there's no um, condition uh, uh, at all. Now, so our goal here now is try to maximize the uh, the ratio for the ACLV5171. And what I'm going to do next is actually to impose a second condition. Remember, the first condition was saying that the ratio has to be uh, between 0 and 1. And it, uh, under that condition, this is not a valid set of weight because the ratio, some of the ratios are over, um, you know, 100%. Um, so the second condition, what I'm going to impose is this. I'm saying that uh, I'm going to uh, restrict the weight category one value of this particular laptop. Um, I'm going to set that set that equal to um, one. So I'm going to impose the second condition. Okay, so now you have uh, two conditions. The first condition is all the ratios has to be between zero and one, and the second condition is that weight the category one of a laptop. In this case, it's this one, ACV five one seventy one, has to be equal to one. Okay, and you may ask me why. The reason is because the technique that we are going to use is called the linear programming technique. In that technique, everything has to be linear. Okay. However, remember our objective here is to maximize the ratio. The ratio is a width of the category two divided by width of the category one. That is not a linear relationship. So that's why I have to set, in a sense, the denominator. Okay, in this case, is the width of the category one set the denominator at equal to one, and then under this particular particular condition, now maximizing the ratio of AC V five one seventy one is the same as maximizing the weight category two. 
Okay, so that that is the same. Okay, so let me summarize our problem here. The problem is this: our goal or the objective is to maximize the ratio of AC of V5175 under two conditions. The first condition, all the ratios has to be within 0 and 1. The second condition, the way the category 1 for AC of V5175 has to be equal to 1. As you can see, under this set of weights, these two conditions are violated. Okay? Uh, in the mathematical term, that particular set of weight is not feasible. Okay, you cannot do that. So we have to find something um, with that will satisfy uh, these two conditions. And we are going to use the solver, which is under the, the data tab. Um, if you have ne you never used the solver before, you may not see this under the data tab. Um, please watch the video on how to locate Excel solver. Um, to find out how you can uh, make this item available to you. You go to the data tab and um, click on solver. And the first thing that you need to do is to set the objective. Now remember in our case the objective is try to maximize uh, the, the ratio on, um, in column L. Um, however, remember the condition that uh, um, that the width of the category one uh, has to be um, equal to one. Because of that condition, you know, maximize the ratio is the same as uh, maximizing the width of the category two for um, the laptop AC of V five one seventy one. So this is you're gonna um, enter B twenty four, not something from um, L um, six, and then the changing variable cells. These are our weights. Okay, um, these are actually called the decision variables. Um, that's something you're gonna make a decision on. And in our case, we we try to find out, you know, what are the weights um, these cells going to take. Um, subject to the constraints, um, these are the two conditions we imposed. Um, so the first condition saying that all the ratios has to be um, less than or equal to one. Now um, remember, um, as I said, uh, we are going to use the technique called the linear programming. Um, everything has to be linear. Now this ratio is a weighted category two divided by a weighted category one. That is not a linear function, so you cannot do that. However, you could do is in here, you actually gonna, uh, you're going to say um, the ratio is within um, zero and one. The same as the difference is the weighted category two. Okay, is less than or equal to uh, the weight category one. Right? It's the same thing. Um, you, you can refer to the book as to why this is the same. Okay? Now this condition is, is a linear one. You click uh, add. And then the second condition is basically the weighted category one of uh, this AC of E5, 175 has to be equal to one. And you are down. You click OK. Um, this make unconstrained variables non-active, uh, basically saying that all our weights has to be non-active. Obviously, you are not going to use a negative set of weight, uh, weights. Solving method, you have three choices. You're always going, are going to use simplex LP for our book because we are solving a LP, linear problem. Once you've done that, you click OK. And you get this result saying solve a a solution. And click OK. So now um, you see this is the set of weights that our solver helps us to find. And the results indicate that the ratio for this particular laptop is actually 1. Okay. Now remember all the ratios are within 0 and 1. Uh, therefore, um, this is one of the best laptops okay, in terms of the ratio. Okay, under the condition that actually we let this particular laptop to choose uh, a set of weights. Okay. Um, 
You will also notice that although this set of weight is picked by the ACFV 5175, this idea pad S210 uh, also has a ratio of 1. Okay, this is actually also um, indicate that this particular laptop is also a, uh, a best laptop because it has a ratio of 1. Um, of course now, you know, for a different laptop, for example, the HP, I mean, you will have to resolve the problem by replacing these two um, values with the, uh, the values in, in there and then resolve the, the solver model. Um, so, you know, you have 16, you know, laptops um, remaining, so you have to repeat the process um, 16 times. Um, in a different set of video, um, I will show you how to use Visual Basic for application, a VBA code, to automate the process. So you don't have to manually um, replace the values um, um, in there.